The 2018 paintball tour has begun. The National X-Ball League is home to thousands of hungry young paintball enthusiasts of all ages and demographics, bringing in players from all over the world. Ranging from entry-level competition to the peak of talent, skill, and sport, the pro division. Our story begins in the small town near Paris, Chartres, France, where the world meets for the inaugural NXL European event. Within the pro division in Europe, over the last decade, the world has seen a dominant performance by a handful of teams, mostly seated by the American hired guns or full American rosters, traveling over to Europe for a shot at a European title and of course the additional experience and momentum to bring back to the NXL North American Tour. Going back in time, even fewer truly European teams have found the gold medal and a championship performance, one of which includes the Toulouse Tauntauns. In 2017, they stole a gold medal from Edmonton Impact during an absolutely stunning comeback performance and finals victory. This year, they're back, rebuilding with a younger squad of French killers and also adding two Americans to their roster. Out of Dallas, Texas, AC Dallas pros, TJ Danner and Matt Fuzzy Jackson. Recon, yeah. If we yell that, if you hear recon, yeah, it just means we're, yeah, it just means we're trying to figure things. Like, basically, means like let's find where they are, count all the bodies. Somebody like take control of the communication, so we can say like five on three, alpha, ten, delta, whatever. So we could count everything out. Yeah, you're gonna go out, or you're gonna stay in the back center? No, if we are free this side, uh, I'm going in alpha. Okay. I'm ten alpha. If there's three this way, you're gonna go out. Yes, and shoot back at the other. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this way on the break if there's three. I'll shoot for the wide guy. Right. It's pretty much an identical. That guy's shooting the same shot. Right. At, they're the same grid, so right. it's. Hey, kill the delta! Kill the delta! Delta! Kill one! Snake two! Five on four! Okay, I just got the, the shot like five. So at the end, it was delta, back center, and the ten. The ten went to the corner, and I think. And snake two. And then uh, new back center and. Alpha or G1 for just Was still shooting at him, and I, I'm running through that paint. So it's you, kind you of... Can, you can wait a little. Okay, okay. Alpha do, do not hurry to, to move, move, move. The okay. field is really, really uh, slow. So even if you yeah, stuck a little bit inside, alpha. the 10, yeah, just wait. Okay. We need to slow down a little bit, and or not necessarily slow down, but just talk more with you, what you see on that side to me, and then him yeah. talking, and then we get it all together. Do you feel like there's any type of like language barrier yet? No, all these guys speak pretty good English, honestly. It's yeah. not, uh, there's, there's moments to clarify, but it's not impossible. And we both speak fluent French, yeah. too, so. <laughs> we played on a French team the last two years, so basically I'm French now. <laughs> I had a roaming on, don't you? I don't do anything. No? I literally send a text. Like, I land and send a text. But your data and everything works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cena says yes. Yeah, you have to turn it I off. I think if these guys are okay. out here. Oh, uh, I don't. I, think we're playing I don't do any of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are we down there? Yeah, Cena doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't have AT&T. He has Verizon. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I literally landed, sent a text, and it was like, you're good. I was like, word. It's definitely getting dark. Cena, what time is it? Let me check my mic. Sundi sundial's not working. Camera doesn't have a clock in it. Oh, he has a cheap camera. That's what it is. He has a cheap camera. He's an upgrade. Master plan. Uh, the master plan says I'm going G1. Okay. Should everybody off break? Deal. Alpha three to one twenty back center. Ouais, c'est un vrai problème, tu vois, quand on joue short et qu'on perd euh, le I was disque, c'est un vrai problème, tu vois. Yeah. Of the snake. Yeah. So I'm shooting it, and that's when it, when he had one come off and just clip yeah. me on the 20. Uh, the 20 was shooting at me, I was trying to shoot the bounce shot into the 20. Well, I mean, you pick up the AC Dallas guys, CJ Danner, Matt Fuzzy Jackson, those guys can ball, and this is a creative field, so that's really going to help them. Um, Tauntauns, they're rebuilding right now, but... 
they have some good leadership, and and after how long they've been doing this, taking second last year, it'll be rebuild right now. I think they're going to be fine. I really do. I mean, but we'll see. Uh, they're playing coming at you and outrage. How do you think they'll do? What's your Come, pick? Coming at you and outrage. That's good for them. You know, coming at you and outrage are, are competitive teams, but you know that's not impact or heat. So that's a good one to start out with. Jet lag. Any jet no, lag? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty good. How about like 11 hours of sleep last night? I think it was. Catching up. What'd you eat? Had a uh, had a buffet. Yeah, buffet. Oh, you could eat buffet. <laughs> uh, lasagna, uh, some veal, and there pasta. Go. There you go. Fired up with them carbs. You mix the Frenchy guys with those AC Dallas jerks. <laughs> Bunch of jerky guys. <laughs> no, I think that'd be good. You know, they got a. Uh, they you pick up the AC Dallas dudes, those dudes are smart. They'll come over here, bring some stability with the Tauntauns losing uh, you know, a couple of their main guys. I think it should help them you know, be a solid team out here still for the 20. For the 20? Is it again? 2018. 2018? 2018 season. Uh, they're playing coming at you and uh, Outrage today. Who does, who does your pick? Uh, I'm pretty sure Greg's just going to shoot five dudes a game in that uh, coming at you game. Because Greg is the Fuego Bandito. How do you feel about the AC guys on Tauntauns? <laughs> hey, Greg Sewers is playing for coming at you. Coming at you. Oh, damn. You know. Um, so. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> that's all, that's all I can give you. That's it. No, give yeah. me something else. Right, what do you think about TJ? Terrible. Yeah. Over I'm giving him his props. Overrated. He's like the new uh, McCarthy. <laughs> Who would you pick, TJ or Fuzz? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure that makes the documentary. <laughs> Putting that in there for us. Kind of caught fire out here right now. It's the morning, it's cold, but Greg is just like a hot wood stove pizza oven, you know what I'm saying? Just burning them up, you know what I'm saying? Just gotta take a fire extinguisher, put them out, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have to watch out for that. Um, and then what else they play? Outrage. Udraj? Udraj. Oh man, those dudes are angry. Could be wild Benini out there, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Ah, uh, they have a guest, uh, they have a... Um, Greg Sewers. Greg Sewers, inside yeah. the gym. We know that uh, he likes the gunfight and uh, if you give him the opportunity, he's going straight uh, in the front. So uh, I think we try to control him. And um, you know this is a control field, so I think we want to control all the field. Don't be panic and even if they go forward, so we will control the game and try to, to do like we did at the practice, you know. TJ and uh, Fuzz, you know, you guys could pick anyone to come play for you. Why, why them? Uh, because uh, Axel and me uh, were playing with Russian Asian the, the past, three, the past uh, four years now, mm -hmm. and uh, we used to practice in the in the TJ and uh, in the AC field. Yeah. So we meet them and we we become a bit friendly. And uh, last season they played with uh, JK, JK Paris, and I was uh, managing the team as well. So we become more and more deeper friend, and uh, it w it was making sense for us uh, to be all together because we like to be with people that uh, we, we love, and they are like like us, you know. They are passionate people, uh, so it's the same. So we are talking the same language, you know. Yeah. So it's 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 great to have a kind of guys like this, and they are like just awesome, you know. Oh, well, good luck. Uh, was 
the containing Greg as hard as he thought or easy? Oh, it was alright. We had some good control from the snake side for him. He uh, did some good push, but uh, we managed to counter him, so that was good. Je te dis que tu viens comme ça, mais gros comme un camion. Tu fais je suis en haut. So, what just happened? <laughs> uh, a lot of French, a lot of winning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just did a good job getting kills early, and then we kind of took control of the game from there. We didn't give any bodies back, which I think is the important part. On this field, if you can go up bodies early, it's really, really big. Yeah. Um, so it's just about not giving the bodies back after you get up points. So, what are the Frenchies good at? So far, Frenchies? They actually, they, it, the the control, doing the game plan, is literally per working perfectly. Yeah. Controlling the field, being in the spots that we want to be in, uh, and shooting off break. Literally winning the first 10, 15 seconds is what we're trying to do right now. Off to the baby gap. Does this rock the reverse for you? You're the fat guy having the small cup? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Axel like a like a F-350 when he comes to Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't. <laughs> What's the plan for today? Uh, we play against uh, the five star with the three uh, damage players. Mm -hmm. That was then Timon Tressor. Mm -hmm. So we we plan some uh, some play against them. They want to, to be really fast next side. So we focus on next side to, to, to block them. Yeah. And and maybe we can be more aggressive to Rito side. So try to do that. Yeah. Have some plan with my guys. Okay. How did yesterday go? Ah yesterday, yesterday it was good. We won uh, six two against uh, Cominatia and five zero against Outrage. Yeah. So for, for us it's good, uh, good result. That, that means you, you play you play good. Yeah. So uh, we want to continue like that, finish first of the draw. And maybe we don't, we don't understand very well what, uh, what happened with the, 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 the rest of the, the, the rules for the, the yeah. schedule. But uh, <laughs> we understand it's always better to be first. Uh, that was a Chan Chan chant. TJ and I knew Undu Toi, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs>
What was that? The loader. <laughs> oh my god, I switched guns and my fucking loader's dead. <laughs> I can shoot three balls at a time. If I have a working loader, I can literally can just shoot Jason with more than three balls and run. Hey, kill one on the right! Kill one on the right! Snake! Kill the snake! Kill two! Look at the snake corner! Snake corner! Again, no, game, 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 game! Game, game. I had a fucking dirty shot on Jacob. Good job, Tava. <laughs> they will control very, very good. So it's... A long four on four and Tavo was able to go up the middle and we were just able to make moves off that and close out the game. So it was a good win for us. Feeling really good. I uh, got Manchester firm. Last match, 3 0 at this point. Um, I think they're 0 and 3. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. If they keep the same game plan or see if they change. But for us, we know we're in. We just have to keep getting better at what we're doing. Hey, be careful, watch the door, Ito! Hey, watch the door! Four and zero going into Sunday. How are you feeling? Feels good. Uh, the layout is pretty strange, so we have some good point matching game and some pretty tight games. Uh, we took them all, so it feels good. But uh, I think we still have some things, things to fix for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, the breakout is on point. We will see how who is our opponent tomorrow and uh, get ready for the game. Talk to me a little bit about the European experience, you know, as a, as a human being, you know, you're out here, you're being, you get to play paintball in Europe, like what, what's, what, what goes through your head? Um, it is, I've played for a long time, uh, I haven't played over here for a long time, so uh, TJ and I actually had a conversation about this last night, it's, it's surreal because you're here, but at the same time, the way that he and I look at it is it's just another paintball tournament, but yeah, so when we leave here, there's, you know, there's this massive cathedral in the distance that we can see while we're playing. Um, it makes me remember like Huntington Beach in 2004 where we're playing on the beach in the sand. Like that was my first big, big tournament. It's just, it, it just, it makes it feel so much more, I say almost legitimate compared to uh, you think of a local tournament at this field off in the woods type situation. This is, I traveled, you know, 13 hours to get here. My, I, I slept for 10 hours, like the first night. Like it's just, it's completely different. But playing over here and getting the experience, the uh, the traveling aspect of it, and playing against people that I've never even seen, they don't even know my name, they don't even speak the same language as me, is mm -hmm. is, is very unique, and very different from the U.S. tournaments. What about the Tontons in particular? What what have you learned in playing with them the last uh, two days? The I'll say this, uh, being. Having the ability to play with such a legendary team is an honor for me. Uh, growing up and knowing that this team is or has this name uh, and getting to actually play with them is, is a really cool experience uh, and makes it feel really rewarding and earning that spot. Uh, learning from them, uh, it is a different uh, mindset in the way that the Americans look at things, the way that we look at things. Uh, they dissect things very similar to the way the AC uh, dissects the, the field and dissects the plays and, the, and breaks it down, uh, but it's a little bit different. You know, they, it's. It's um, it's a twist on what we already do, but good. Like TJ and I literally had a conversation yesterday and the first day that we really like the way that they break it down and the way that that Pascal is um, is breaking it down to the players and explaining things to them. So I, I it's definitely learning, um, but very similar to the way the AC program does things, which is cool. <laughs>
On y est là, hein. c'est maintenant que ça commence. Allez, 1, 2, 3, tendance Good match, it's like the classico, you know, Tonton Joy. It's an old cool match, so uh, we like to play uh, this sort of game and uh, we, we scout them uh, to know what they do. And our plan is good to against their, their plan. So I hope the player will be good and, uh, and for me it's good to play, to play them in quarter. So they play with Seban, you know, it's a very old guy, but it's good <laughs> and very technical. You know, yeah. Joy Division, they practice a lot during the winter inside with Reball, yeah. Reball a lot, a lot, a lot. And they are, their skills are really good uh, mm -hmm. for the first event, mm -hmm. always. Check the result of Joy Division, the first event of the year, just after the winter, they are really good. Yeah. Uh, we won 5-3 uh, uh, and it was a, an intense game because uh, we lost uh, the two first points so uh, we had to manage to change uh, some tactics always in pinball it's always same if you kill them they don't kill you normally it's better for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I would say so so impact now impact us. What do you think about that? Ah, they are, they are the best in the world, so we have to be better than, than them. Maybe that means we are bet, be, the best in the world yeah. if we beat them. So, yeah, uh, that would make you the best in the world. <laughs> logical. <laughs> Very logical. <laughs> so we got the Tauntauns, uh, semi-final match. Ready to get, get going to work. What do you think about TJ and uh, Fuzz being on that team? Just another two players. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm not worried about them. They worried about us. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> Perfect. So, Tauntauns are about to play Impact in the semifinals. They also look pretty good. The ta what I like about the Tauntauns, Gravelon's playing well. Obviously, you've got the veterans uh, um, with Columbo and Axel, but, you know, do TJ Danner and, uh, and Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson has played some flawless paintball out there. I mean, yeah, he's got shot here or there, but he's just making the right decisions and He's just always in there. Survivability is through the chart, or, or you know, off the charts. It's, it's impressive. Danner's making the right moves. So when you get a rookie like Gravelon, who's not quite a rookie, but still, he's very consistent. He's alive. And I think the Tauntauns are scary, man. The Tauntauns, if if they can find a way to beat Impact, I think the Tauntauns become the favorite because Impact looked really good in their first match today. Look completely different than the prelims, and I, I can't wait to see it. It's, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, he shot, he shot, that's a penalty. Come on, yeah. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's a big difference, because like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything against the impact, but that's impact kind of feel that refs are giving them sometimes like easy calls. Yeah, four minutes, 25 seconds to go. Definitely, that's enough time to play a few points, and Impact's going to need it as they're down by two. But the oh, referee's going to pull out Zane oh, Yakimek. Zane is having a bad day today. Shot, trying oh, to come and kick a shot, yeah, State by the back center. Two. Because right now, Tava was standing and shooting over. There we go, conceding the point. Uh, so now a three-point lead. Tauntaun's going to go up 4-1 to one against Edmonton Impact. Some guys, some younger guys, you know, you can yell at them and they'll respond to the challenge. Yeah. Other yeah. young guys, when you yell at them, yeah, they they'll, they'll put their head down and get depressed. 
but it, that's up to you as a veteran, as a coach, to know how to talk and how to speak to and your younger players to get the me, best out of them. Tava is having a great energy, and he knows how to do it. Sometimes there might be some hard times, yeah, but usually he's very good in this. Like we'll see. The Tauntauns have a pretty big lead here with some time on the clock, though. 3:48 to go. Impact struggling here in this match with survivability. Oh, wow. And 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 Impact decided to send Monderbill from T Bags over to the snake side and having a strong push right now. Knowing that they can't step back and they must uh they must attack. They're even more dangerous than in in in, in a normal uh tactical standard fire long distance game well yeah. I'll tell you what hey impact refusing to roll over here but exactly getting, getting a pretty big uh gift of that penalty i'm just curious once again about the time that that sometimes it goes so quick and sometimes it's so slow well raining is going to yeah. need to sprint in to Great preserve job. as much time as possible Great. but so now this is it right here under a Tava to go. is getting shot at the back center bunker for the third time. So struggling here in this match, Colombo, but they still have four players alive to try to keep the attack. And Gravalon. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not whoa, looking good here not for looking the good. It's, it's a 100% AC Dallas curse. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. So impact, impact trying to score three unanswered points to tie this one up and take yeah, it into overtime. That's what I'm telling you. Just TJ Danner alive no, over there it. on the D side of the field. And he's about to get run down by Rainey. And then here comes Laval sprinting in to hit that buzzer. With le snake. Il va y aller dans le snake. Il y a Bilou qui le voit. Il est dans le temps. Je vous tiens à peine. Je vous dis I have a history over here because the Orlean is not so far, so maybe Jean Doc was somewhere around over here. <laughs> well, here we go. Overtime point. Edmonton Impact taking on the Toulouse Tauntauns. It looks like. Yeah, Dalton Vanderbilt CJ getting Danner shot on the shot. break, but then Danner getting shot, so each team Nobody's the looking body. snake! Nobody's looking snake! Keith, well, if you yell louder, they'll hear you! Keith, Keith Brown does make it into the snake, and here comes the move up the center for Nick Laval, and he's able to get the shot on Colombo. So now, three bodies alive. Yeah, and once again, Axel got shot by the snake 50. Impact. The so experience, the, the, the combined experience that these guys are having, together with the anger. Well, Keith Brown... No, no, no. Nope. It's, it's one against three, at least. Yeah, it is. It looks like the impact is... Well, Gravelon is trying to get something done in Snake 1 here, but he's looking at too many bodies. This is going to be really difficult for him. Oh, waiting for Keith Brown here to drop the hammer. All he has to do is either look to the tape or run the highway. Well, Keith Brown is just focusing inside. I don't think not, he knows. Yeah, Keith he doesn't know it. Yeah, he doesn't know it. And now he, kno and now he knows, yeah, because Rainy told him. Exactly. Yeah, Gravelon's about to get shot there by is. Keith. Wow. What an amazing comeback uh, from Edmonton Impact. Wow. As they not only, they were down 4-1, and then they rail off four unanswered points in, well, three in three and a half minutes, and then take themselves into overtime. And Danner was just in the Dorito. I believe, the I, I, to go. yeah, I can say that there might be some troubles with the informational flow inside of their squad because uh, French guys for sure speak more in French than in English. That's why maybe uh, Matt and uh, uh, Dabber are not super in. Yeah, the informational flow out there. That's why they might stock and not take the reactive decision on the information that they receive constantly while being like in a pool with Americans. Yeah, so. Okay, je suis sur la bande comme ça, Chicago Ride, j'avance, Snake 50, debout, 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 debout comme ça, en plein, en grand, le mec il te met une balle dans la tête, en bas, en bas, en bas, j'arrête pas de le dire, il va y avoir le Snake, il va y avoir le Snake, le mec on lui donne 20 kills par match, on sait qu'il y a le Snake, on lui donne 20 kills par match. It happens. Yeah. It's a good team, good coach. Uh, a lot of smart players. They know how to make adjustments and just dig it out. Long points. That's, that's what they're good at. That's why they're winning. Go ahead. The Sox losing again. We had control the whole game.
come out, get a penalty, start losing guys on the break, and just falls apart. Yeah. My eyes are that way the whole time, so the only information that we know is, is that. The Toulouse Tauntauns lose to Edmonton Impact after a heartbreaking 4-1 comeback. Impact redeeming themselves of their last run-in with the Tauntauns, and the Tauntauns finding a small victory in the Consolation Finals against the Expendables, taking home a third-place bronze medal. So, uh, I, I like the two, the two guys. Yeah. The, 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 uh, we, we said that they are like French speaking in English. <laughs> <laughs> so for us it's perfect. Yeah. So uh, I like uh, how they do, how they play, uh, the philosophy of the game. Yeah. They play slowly, but it's really, really smart. Yeah. Uh, they, when, they, when they move, it's because they want to do something. Yeah. Just not moving like that because I want to move uh, for the fun. Yeah. They are not playing for the fun. Yeah. And we are not playing for the fun. So uh, the match is good. Good. TJ, we? 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 Yeah. we? Good, good. We. <laughs> like we said, TJ and Matt, there. it was like, yeah, well, are you it's gonna, like five years ago already. Yeah. Are you going to bring them back for the next one? Oh, for sure. For sure. sure. We love these guys. So now they are in the gym. They are part of the team. So for sure they're going to come back. Very cool. Thank you.